The Friday night lights shone brightly. The cheers of the crowd echoed through the stadium. On the field, a young man named Caden Tellier, number 22, gave his all for his team, the Morgan Academy Eagles. He was a force of nature, a talented running back with a bright future ahead of him. Caden loved the game, and his passion was contagious. He inspired his teammates and brought joy to the entire town of Selma, Alabama. Caden was more than just an athlete. He was a leader, a role model, and a friend to all who knew him. Off the field, his infectious smile and kind heart touched the lives of everyone he met. He was a dedicated student, a loving son and brother, and a true embodiment of the spirit of Selma. Caden's future seemed limitless. He dreamed of playing college football and maybe even making it to the NFL, but fate, as it so often does, had other plans. The game was in its final quarter. The score was close and the tension was palpable. Caden took the handoff and charged towards the end zone, determined to secure a victory for his team. Then, everything changed in an instant. A jarring tackle sent shockwaves through the stadium. Caden lay motionless on the field, the crowd's cheers replaced by a stunned silence. Medics rushed to his side, and an eerie hush fell over the once vibrant stadium. The young man who had brought so much joy to his community was now the center of their worst fears. Caden was rushed to the hospital, his life hanging precariously in the balance. The diagnosis was devastating, a severe brain injury. The news spread like wildfire through the close-knit community of Selma. A collective gasp of despair could be felt throughout the town as hearts sank and prayers were whispered. Caden, the bright light of Selma, was fading. The days that followed were a blur of anxiety and despair. The entire town of Selma rallied around the Tellier family, offering prayers and support during their darkest hour. Caden's hospital room became a sanctuary of hope and heartbreak, filled with the whispers of loved ones and the constant hum of machines keeping him alive. News of Caden's injury spread far beyond the borders of Selma. Messages of support poured in from across the state and around the country, a testament to the power of sports to unite people in times of both triumph and tragedy. But despite the outpouring of love and the tireless efforts of medical professionals, Caden's condition worsened. The unthinkable happened. After a valiant fight, Caden Tellier succumbed to his injuries. He was only 16 years old. The news sent shockwaves through Selma, leaving an entire community reeling in grief. How could someone so full of life, so young and full of promise, be gone so soon? In the wake of Caden's passing, Selma came together to mourn the loss of their beloved son. Stories of Caden's kindness, his infectious laugh, and his unwavering spirit were shared amongst tearful embraces. He was remembered as a young man who always put others first, a friend who could brighten even the darkest of days. Caden's parents, heartbroken yet filled with an unshakable faith, spoke of their son with immense pride. They shared stories of his determination, his work ethic, and his genuine love for everyone he met. Their strength in the face of such unimaginable loss was a testament to the power of love and the enduring spirit of the human soul. Caden's teammates, their eyes filled with tears, vowed to honor his memory by living their lives with the same passion and dedication that he had shown both on and off the field. His number, 22, would forever be etched in their hearts, a constant reminder of the friend they had lost and the legacy he left behind. Section 5. Justice for Caden As the community mourned, questions lingered. How could such a tragic accident have occurred? Was there something that could have been done to prevent it? The investigation into Caden's death began immediately, with authorities determined to uncover the truth and ensure that such a tragedy would never happen again. Experts were brought in to examine the equipment and review the game footage. Players and coaches were interviewed their words heavy with grief and a desire to understand what had gone wrong. The investigation was thorough, leaving no stone unturned in the pursuit of answers and accountability. The findings, when they were finally revealed, sent shockwaves through Selma and beyond. The investigation concluded that Caden's death was not simply a tragic accident, but a preventable one. The tackle that had claimed his life was deemed illegal, a blatant disregard for player safety. 
The news ignited a firestorm of anger and demands for justice. Section 6. A Community's Embrace The Tellier family, already grappling with the unimaginable pain of losing their son, now faced the daunting task of seeking justice for him. But they would not have to do it alone. The community of Selma rallied around them, offering unwavering support and demanding accountability for Caden's death. Candlelight vigils were held, their flickering flames a symbol of hope and a demand for change. Petitions were signed, voices raised in unison, calling for stricter safety protocols in youth sports. Caden's death, though tragic, became a catalyst for change, a rallying cry for a community determined to protect its children. The outpouring of support extended far beyond Selma. Donations poured in from across the country to support the Tellier family and their pursuit of justice. News outlets picked up the story, shining a national spotlight on the need for increased safety measures in youth sports. Caden's legacy, though born out of tragedy, was becoming one of awareness, action, and a fierce determination to prevent such a senseless loss from ever happening again. Section 7. Honoring Caden's Legacy As the legal battle for justice continued, the community of Selma focused on honoring Caden's memory in tangible ways. A scholarship fund was established in his name, providing financial assistance to deserving students who embodied Caden's spirit of kindness, leadership, and academic excellence. The Morgan Academy Eagles dedicated their season to Caden, wearing his initials on their helmets and playing with a renewed sense of purpose. Every game became a tribute to their fallen teammate, a reminder that his spirit lived on in their hearts and inspired them to strive for greatness both on and off the field. Perhaps the most fitting tribute to Caden was the wave of change that swept through youth sports in the wake of his death. Safety protocols were reviewed and strengthened, with a renewed emphasis on proper tackling techniques and concussion awareness. Coaches received additional training, and parents became more vigilant about their children's well-being. Section 8. Finding Hope Amidst Sorrow The loss of Caden Tellier left a void in the hearts of all who knew him, a void that could never truly be filled. But amidst the grief and the anger, there was also hope. Hope that his death would not be in vain that his legacy would inspire positive change and prevent other families from experiencing the same unbearable pain. Caden's story became a powerful reminder that life is precious, that every moment is a gift. It taught us to cherish our loved ones, to pursue our passions with vigor, and to live each day to the fullest. The community of Selma, though forever marked by tragedy, emerged stronger than ever. They learned the true meaning of resilience, the power of unity, and the importance of fighting for what is right. Section 9. How You Can Help The Tellier family continues to fight for justice for Caden, their strength and determination and inspiration to us all. You can support their efforts by staying informed about the case, contacting your elected officials to advocate for stricter safety measures in youth sports, and donating to the Caden Tellier Scholarship Fund. Your voice, your actions, and your generosity can help ensure that Caden's legacy of love, kindness, and safety lives on. Section 10. Forever in our hearts. Caden Tellier may be gone, but he will never be forgotten. His memory will forever live on in the hearts of those who loved him, in the spirit of his hometown of Selma, and in the positive changes